So if you didn't know, March is officially Eating Disorder Awareness Month. I definitely do have some things to say about this topic. I have a history with eating disorders, as I think probably most of us do. Sorry if it looks messy, it's actually not messy, it's just that we did the dishes and it's right there. So anyway, okay, disclaimer. If you are triggered by eating disorder conversation, please click off this video. I really don't want to enable or trigger anyone here. So please don't watch this video if you are triggered. This is just my experience and my personal story. I'm not giving you any advice. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist. Please take this video as just a normal girl telling her story, okay? All right, so let's get into the video. I would say that around probably 15 i gained a little bit of weight so i was probably 15 pounds heavier than i am now um at 15 years old i'm now 27. i just remember like um with my other friends we decided together that we would start making ourselves throw up and eating as little as possible and we actually thought that we were kind of cool for doing that. I don't know how to explain it and it sounds insane to me now. Making myself suffer like that made me feel better about myself, which is so weird. It was definitely a disordered way of thinking and it could have escalated very fast. So anyway, so what I would do is, sorry, I'm not used to having braids, so I'm just like, <laughs> um, I, tr I will try not to touch them too much. I would say it looked more like bulimia. People with bulimia nervosa have recurrent and frequent episodes of eating unusually large amounts of food and feeling a lack of control over these episodes. This binge eating is followed by behavior that compensates for the overeating, such as forced vomiting, excessive use of laxative diuretics, fasting, excessive exercise, or a combination of these behaviors. People who have bulimia can look like anything. They can be underweight, normal weight, or overweight. So I was slightly overweight. Not much. I, ha I was probably in the normal weight range, but I was definitely in the like almost overweight. I would limit my eating. I would try not to eat at all, like go to bed with an empty stomach. I would wake up. I remember this very clearly. So re remember, I was 15, 16. I would take a spoonful of peanut butter, eat that in the morning, and then tell myself, so that's enough for the rest of the day. And then I would not eat anything and and then at lunch i would be we would be together as friends and me and the the two or three other friends that i had at that time wouldn't eat at lunch we would just be sitting together not eating and if we ate something we uh, went to purge so we would force ourselves to throw up isn't that disgusting so yeah and sometimes this is where the like binge or like large quantities of food come in uh, during the weekend, we would have sleepovers, you know, like girl sleepovers. We would love to do that like every single week together. And um, oh my God, I still remember we would eat like Nutella by the spoonful. Nutella, peanut butter. I think like sometimes I would go the whole day without eating anything. And then I would go back home, feel completely starving. And then right before dinner, I would make myself, I'm not kidding. Okay, I still remember. I would make myself like eight pieces of toast, Nutella and peanut butter, and then I would eat it all. Or like, for example, we would have cheesecake at home or chocolate cake. Sometimes I would eat like a third of the whole cake in like 20 minutes. Or like we had nachos with salsa and I would have like four bowls. I cannot believe that. And then I would feel so bad and then I would force myself to vomit. I just wanna talk about how I felt during that moment when I would decide that I would vomit. So I would be like, all right, it's time, it's time. And then I would go in the bathroom, lock myself up. Sometimes I would like listen to a song to kind of get me like in the mood, I guess, like in a sad, weird mood. And then I, sometimes I would cry because I would look at myself and be like, oh my God, I'm so like fat. I would tell myself I'm so ugly, so fat, so, so overweight. I have to make myself vomit right now. Of course, I didn't want to do it, but then I would do it. So I, I used like um, the back of a toothbrush and then I would just like do this until it would be like, you know. 
so anyway yeah I would end up purging and then it would be disgusting and I would feel better another little anecdote that's really embarrassing and also confusing to me now um, I remember I think I was 16 I was 16 and I went with a guy to like the mall just walk around we went to the food court um, he said he was hungry it was lunchtime like I had not eaten anything that day and then he he got like a huge piece of like greasy pizza and he said you're not gonna eat anything and I was like no I'm not hungry and you know what's sick is that I actually thought I was like I was like sexy or desirable by saying that I'm not hungry like I thought that he would think I'm hot because I don't want to eat in that I'm not hungry no I'm not hungry like anyway I, I still can't believe that which is really funny and ironic because today my partner and I Gabriel who I've been with for 10 years like food is one of our greatest joys like we love to cook we eat we we just love it so I, I don't even think I lost any weight I didn't look any different like I ended up losing weight because I started eating healthier you know since then I wouldn't say like I had a eating disorder but I didn't have the best way of eating now I feel like I'm at the best place I've ever been and I think I was overeating for many years I would say five years and only since one year I feel like I came out of that I was eating so much like it's kind of like the food that we make Gabriel and I is so delicious that I want to eat more 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 you know like I, I finish and I'm really full but I'm like it's too good I have to have more and then I would feel so full that it feels like my stomach is like gonna burst you know when you feel like the tissue is going to tear or something oh my gosh so that's really uncomfortably full and I think this is this was one of the symptoms of yeah binge eating disorder disorder is like eating until you're uncomfortably full so I definitely did that uh, yeah I feel like I always had like now the numbers don't matter but it's just to put you into perspective I always had this like two or three extra pounds on me like a, a little layer of, of fat that you know I feel like I could do without you know what I mean um, but I was just always eating way too much overeating is just really not good and they have done studies on people who live 100 years old and they all have this in common they do not overeat in fact they stop eating before they even feel full and then after they've stopped eating 10 minutes later they feel full perfectly full that's because your brain actually needs about 15 minutes to receive the message that you actually are full and then the brain tells your stomach to to give you that feeling of fullness you know i don't know if i'm, I'm expressing this right but you know what i mean i had to like start reconditioning myself uh, so for example if i had like my plate of food usually i would put a huge portion now i'm not telling you to not eat enough i'm telling you to eat enough that's what i'm saying so i would uh, again i'm not giving any advice i'm just telling you my story so i just really want to make sure you're okay so i i put i put a decent amount of food on my plate right um but i always tell myself if i'm still hungry i'll just get a second portion that's all i don't need a huge portion right from the beginning because the thing with me is when i look at my plate i i just i have it in my head like i have to eat the whole thing that's how my parents raised me you know lebanese parents you have to finish your plate eat your whole plate you have to eat it all or it goes it goes to waste so if i have a huge plate of, of food in, in my face i'm just gonna eat it all you know so that's why i started putting less food on my plate smaller portions but still decent and good and perfect for me for my height everything and then when when i would be like almost done with my plate i would already be thinking like okay so maybe this is these are like my last few bites i'm really going to savor them and appreciate them because i want to make sure that i'm not going to finish my plate and be like oh, it was so good i feel like it didn't i didn't really appreciate the last bites and and then get a second huge portion and then overeat again and feel like oh, my stomach is too big this is what really helped me okay i started like eating and then really savoring each bite and then near the end i would be like all right these are like my last three bites 
and it was really delicious and I'm so happy I, I had this meal. So I'd be eating my last three bites and I'd be like, that was great, I feel perfectly full, I feel satisfied and nourished and yeah, so you see what I mean? And then sometimes those bites were not my last bites. I just got a second helping, second portion. I really feel like since one year, I found like my perfect amount of food that I need. And honestly, I can't tell you how good it feels when you finish a meal and you still feel light. Like I still feel light. I feel like my stomach is full and happy. I'm happy and um, it's just, a, it's just a great feeling. And you know what? I think that those two or three pounds, as I said, I don't care about the numbers, just to put you into perspective, those two, three pounds of extra fat, I think they have, they have vanished because I stopped overeating. Now, is that to say that I don't still stuff my face sometimes? Of course not. I still, I still sometimes overeat and I really try not to make myself feel guilty. I started being like, oh, today I ate way too much. <sighs> okay, that was fun, it was really good. It was an exception, but I remember now again how much better I feel when I don't overeat. So I do not undereat. I eat the perfect amount that I need to feel satisfied, happy and full, nourished, and yeah, so I really hope that I explained this well. I really hope that I, I didn't trigger anyone. I feel like these kinds of videos are really hard to make because like I hope I didn't express anything in a wrong way. So that was pretty much what I wanted to talk to you about today. Just talking about relationship to food and eating disorder history. Please let me know in the comments if you've had any issues with your relationship with food. I feel like I found balance. I found perfect balance in life when it comes to food. <laughs> All right, so yes, please leave me your comment below and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe, join the Holistic Maya family. I hope you have a good day wherever you are. I hope you're taking care of yourself, staying safe in this really weird time. Didn't want to talk about it, but of course I have to acknowledge it. Um, yeah, so see you in the next video.